This is the CLIA program called Moons of Jupiter. You will simulate collecting data on the position of the moons and you will use this data to calculate the mass of Jupiter. This is the screen that you will see when you start up the program Moons of Jupiter. And let's go to File and Log In. It asks you for your name and your laboratory table number, but we are not using those, so just simply click OK. Go to File and Preferences and Timing, and let's set the observation interval for 12 hours. This is as if we will collect data for uh, two times per night. Now go to File and Run and it asks, asks you to pick a day to begin and just choose the default day which will be uh, today's date. This immediately shows you the planet Jupiter and its Galilean moons. Here is Jupiter and here are four moons. This is obviously Callisto and then these three are Io, Europa, and Ganymede but because the moons travel in front of and behind Jupiter we cannot tell which moon is really closer to Jupiter from this side view. Let's magnify the image 400 times. We will click on record measurements and move this window out of the way and we will record our measurements here in the program and it will store our data for us. Let's click on each moon and record the position of the moon that the simulation gives us. This moon is Europa and its position is 0.55 W. The W means west. The units are Jupiter diameters. This convention is such that west is to the right of Jupiter and east is to the left of Jupiter. So let's record that 0.55 west. Click on another moon. Ganymede is 1.05 east. This must be Io, 1.74 east. And to see Callisto, we will have to back up a little bit. Let's click on 300 times. We cannot see it yet. We'll zoom out further. 200 times, we still cannot see it. 100 times, now we can see it. And that is at 12.55 west. Click OK. The data point has been recorded. And you can see that by going to File, Data, and Review. And this shows you the data that we just recorded for these planets. Shows you the date and the positions of each of these uh, planets. If we were to click Edit, we could actually make the changes right there. Note that it doesn't say west or east here. In fact, it has a negative sign if it was east and a positive sign if it was west. It converts the W and the E to a plus or minus with positive being to the right and negative being to the left of Jupiter. We'll close that. Go to record measurements again. We will advance to the next night. Oops, we can't do that while the measurement dialog box is open. Click Next. And it's advanced 12 hours, actually, so the same night, January 31st. Click Record Measurements. And we'll start with Callisto this time. That's 13.10 west. And let's zoom in. Ganymede, 2.2 west. Io, 2.3 or 03 east. And we'll have to zoom out in order to see Europa, which is at 3.98 west. Click OK. And you will continue doing this for approximately 25 data points.